I'm a solicitor at Leeds Prior and one of my specialisms is lasting powers of attorney and court of protection work. A lasting power of attorney is a document whereby you can appoint somebody to make decisions on your behalf if you're no longer able to do so. Um, there are two types of lasting power of attorney. The first is property and finance, whereby you would be appointing somebody to look after your bank accounts, sell property on your behalf and do anything with your finances you'd be able to do. The second is the health and welfare power of attorney um, and that is to make welfare decisions on your behalf, so things like what care treatment you might receive, where you might live, um, and also refusing life-sustaining treatment and other medical decisions. Anybody can make a lasting power of attorney, so long as they're at least 18 years old and have the capacity to make a lasting power of attorney. And capacity means uh, having the ability to understand and retain information regarding the lasting power of attorney and what it does. We always think about lasting powers of attorney as something people might do in their later years, but we as solicitors recommend putting in place lasting powers of attorney as soon as possible. Everybody should have a lasting power of attorney. Again, we hear that question a lot, um, and not necessarily. So in order to make a lasting power of attorney, you need to have the requisite capacity to understand that specific decision. So it's still worth going to a solicitor and having the conversation, because it may still be possible. A certificate provider is somebody who's required to countersign the lasting power of attorney to confirm that the person in front of them has the capacity to know what they're doing. Very often that certificate provider will be the solicitor who's prepared the lasting power of attorney, but it could also be a lay person who's known the person putting in place the lasting power of attorney for at least two years. If a solicitor has doubts whether somebody has capacity or not, they might ask that person to go to their GP to confirm whether they understand what they're doing. We often hear that people assist their family members with their finances using informal procedures such as internet banking, having the PIN to somebody's debit card or being a third party signatory on a bank account. This is absolutely fine whilst the individual still has capacity to authorise you to look after their finances. As soon as that person loses capacity, then legally you are no longer able to assist them informally using internet banking, their bank card or by using your third party signatory on the bank account. You could find yourself in legal difficulties by using these methods once somebody has lost capacity, even if you have the best intentions. And that's why we recommend everybody has a lasting power of attorney. There is a court process whereby the Court of Protection can appoint somebody to manage your finances and in limited circumstances also make health and welfare decisions on your behalf if you don't have the capacity to make that decision yourself. It's a more lengthy process, which is why we do recommend everybody puts in place lasting powers of attorney when they can, but if your family member doesn't have one, then there is something that can be done and we'd recommend you speak to a solicitor about that. If you're interested in putting in place a lasting power of attorney or think it would be a useful thing for a family member to have, the best thing to do is give one of the team at Leeds Prior a call and we can talk you through the process and the costs on a no obligation basis. You or your family member can then come to the office for a meeting here or we can make visits in the local area if necessary.